Alrighty, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do linear fit plots in LabVIEW. So let's begin by looking at our data. So we go to File, Input, Output, and we're looking for Read Delimited Spreadsheet, since our data is currently in a tab delimited uh, text file. So we'll bring that in and right click on File Path, go down to Create, in, uh, sorry, con Constant, and we'll right click in that constant field, browse for the path, find our data, which is in this case called data.txt save that. Now the reason why I do this is that whenever I run the program or the VI, I won't have to uh, select my data every single time. So let's move that off to the side there. Let's have a look at our data by right clicking all all rows, sorry, uh, yes, all rows, and we'll create an indicator. So let's have a look at that. If we run that, control R, and then control E to switch over, there, there we have. So we've got our X data in the first column, column zero, and our Y data in column Y. Let's see how much data we have. Should be pretty small, 14 points. Cool, so we'll switch back over. And now to be able to plot this, we're gonna want to put it into, uh, and actually, so we can actually uh, analyze it as well. We want to break this up into two single column, uh, yes, two single columns. So we'll need an array, index array, and we'll connect that up. Let's get the data into this index array. And because our data was in columns, we don't want index row, we want the column one, so the one at the bottom. So we'll right click that and we'll create a constant zero for our x data. Let's copy that down here and change that to a one for our y data and connect it up. There we go. Let's have a look. So we'll right click on the output and we'll create an indicator. So it'll be our x data. Let's move that up there and we'll do the same down for here. So we'll create an indicator and that'll be our y data move that down there. So I run, switch over, and we should have our X and Y data. We'll just make sure it's the same. It should be. So we have our 14 points, yes, and 14 points for Y, and the data matches up. All right, switching back. Now, to be able to plot this, we're going to have to bundle it. So back to programming, we'll go to clusters, and we're looking for bundle. All right, now we'll get the output and put it into the bundle here. So our X data goes in the top. This is arbitrary at the moment. And our Y data goes into the bottom. Now, let's put in a graph. So I'm right clicking here, looking for graph, XY graph. And I'll put it in anywhere. Double click so I can find where it is on the block diagram. Drag it over and connect the cluster to the XY graph. Switching back over and control R to run. There we go, our data has now been plotted. Let's make it look like our data plot. So we need, oops, let's put this. So I left clicked here, common plots, dot plot. There we go. That's a good dot plot of, a, of our data. Let's change the name. So this is the name of your data. I'm just doing generic. So you know what you have to do. It needs to be descriptive of your data. And this is our Y data. This is our X and you should always include your units but currently this is a randomly generated data file so there are no units included in this case let's switch back over let's do some analysis so let's do a fit so mathematics fitting linear fit let's connect this up so we got our y data oops y data our x data and now we'll have our best linear fit coming out here. And to be able to get this into the graph, we're going to have to first uh, make another cluster. So because I, we put our Y data into the bottom here, we should put our Y data into the bottom over here. We'll put our X data in. And now we'll break this wire, move this over a bit, and we're going to build an array. So go back to array build array we'll throw that in here all right now we're going to be able to put these two into here so we'll have to expand this so put the top one in there and the bottom one in there now we can throw that into the graph switch it over there we go we have our dot plot for our data and our best fit line let's actually put that into the legend so that's our best fit excellent now let's put in some confidence intervals. So for confidence intervals, that's in mathematics, fitting, advanced curve fitting, and we're looking for a linear fit interval. Okay, and that's automatically set to the confidence interval instead of uh, prediction interval. And the confidence level is 
at the 95% by default. And we're not going to change that. So we'll connect this up to it. We'll get our Y values in yet again. We'll get our X values in. And now we'll need our slope from the fit. So our slope and our intercept. And now we'll get from this our upper and lower bounds. So we need to cluster this again. Let's make two clusters for bundling. So our upper bound in here, X values on the top. And then our lower bound in here, X values on the top. Okay, let's expand our array that we were building and chuck these in here. And now, when we run, we get our fit plot with our 95% confidence intervals. Just a couple more things we'll add in and get some information out of here. So I'm going to right click on slope from the fit and I'm going to create an indicator. And I'll do the same for our intercept. Create an indicator. And now when I run this, I'll get my slope and intercept. And as a final thing, let's clean this up. So control A, we'll select everything and clean up selection so it's easier for someone to read later on or for you even to read later on.